Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And you joined me in the middle of a eclipse. An eclipse, I should say. So, yeah, I went outside thinking it's night time, and in actual fact, it's an eclipse. I like seeing them in Minecraft, that's pretty cool. So, um, last week we did some extra utility stuff. And we made the enchanter. Nope, wrong thing. There you go. I made a magical speed upgrade. I did another, in I did a vanilla ch enchanting setup because I wanted to make enchanted books as well because you can put things in and you can make books but um, I don't know if it's going to churn out the same book all the time or if it's going to be random books I don't know so I've got both setups here uh, we need a book in so then at least I can see what I'm getting uh, what else I think that was about it there was a few things we have to finish, sorry, because this week I want to do the indexer, I want to do the angel block. The angel block's pretty cool actually. Um, chunk loader, I've never used the chunk loader from extra utility so that should be interesting and I want to do the ultimate speed upgrade and also the wireless indexer. These two things I have already set up so that should be quick and we'll see what else we can do. So, um, indexer. It's a block that can be connected to various chests and inventories using transfer pipes, no nodes needed. It uses GP to make looking in a lot of chests easy. And um, that is something that we should have had from the beginning. And then maybe we wouldn't have need the refined storage. But there you go. It's okay. You live and learn, because this is trying to show people how to do modded Minecraft. And you will take the knowledge that you learn here and use it in other mod packs. So the indexer uses stone burnt, resonated redstone crystals, a screen, and um, yeah, and a screen. Three things. The screen is more stone burnt ender shards, which you get from an ender pearl and a grass cu mm. glass cutter. And so that's your screen, which I've already made. This is the indexer, and that's that. And then the indexer remote, remote, yes, is stone. Oh, I have no stone. Do I have to make another screen? I have to make another screen. There you go. And I put some stone in to cook must be all in the trunk and there you go remote okay we didn't actually look and see let's claim that and then the in indexer indexer remote when crafting an indexer remote click an indexer to pair it you can now use that indexer even when you are far away okay well, like I said, it's nothing that we can really use right now, but it's handy to have. It's handy to know that it's there, that you have that option. Um, oh, I can't remember if I had told you guys with the angel ring, you need to make sure that you have the chunk with the, um, the water mills or whatever your power is. Have it um, chunk loaded all the time. Otherwise, your... Um, your angel ring will fail because the first time I took it out I think I got as far as out here maybe somewhere around here I think by the river and then it just failed and then I realized oh we'll have to have it chunk loaded and I honestly cannot remember if I had told you guys that so in case I didn't I'm now telling you sorry that it's a bit late but um yeah make sure that this section is chunk loaded oh I have to get rid of these I've been mean to do that forever there you go and also how you make sure that your trunk loaded press E to get into your inventory then up in the left hand corner claimed chunks and then you will see 
you can right click no you left click to claim an area and then shift left click to chunk load it so that means that area will always be loaded no matter what happens it will always be loaded and that's what you need for this i just chunk loaded pretty much all of my base so that even when i have things so like if i've got the the furnace going it will keep going while i'm not there right so we've got that did we collect uh claim that ultimate speed upgrade it's the magical speed upgrade but ultimately or ultim ultimatey so speed this one i went ahead and made the drops of evil which is smelting weather skeleton skulls i made the evil infused ingot which is iron and a nether star so eight iron and one nether star will give you eight evil infused ingots so i did that because you had to do that to make the normal speed upgrade as far as i remember nope you didn't okay ignore that but i went ahead and did it so that i could get stuff for the magical upgrade but then i had to take the magical speed upgrade you put it in the middle and you've got the ultimate speed upgrade so it's all all quite simple are you going to uh, claim? Right, so now it's just the angel block and the chunk loader. Oh, now you're digging. Well, we, we don't need you. We know we've done it. Um, right, angel block. Right, do I have everything I should have? There is an angel block. And what an angel... Let's see if the book actually tells us what it is. The angel block can be placed without looking at any other block. This is very nice if you want to build a floating island base, island-like base, but don't want to have to pillar up to start making it. So, basically, well, to make the angel block, you need to be able to to um to get up there and oh, I didn't mean to do that. You need to be able to get up there in the first place. So let's just go up here go right here so let's say I wanted to build something here if I take the angel block I can put it right there and it's not attached to anything so I can use that as a basis to um, to make my base I don't have to pillar up and then do lots of other things to go with it right the chunk loader let's claim that too and the chunk loader war, chunk loading ward will keep an area of three by three chunks around it so crops will continue to grow and keep, machines will keep running even if you're not around which is what we just did um going into the inventory but that is from a different mod so if you didn't have that mod you can always use this to chunk load a particular thing in order to craft the chunk loader ward, you can't just use any villager in a lasso. The villager has to be willing to do so, to willing to do it. So you must craft a contract and click on a villager for them to sign. Their response will be on the right of the menu when you click on them. If they say yes, most say no, there will be a sign button that you can click. Once the villager has signed the contract, you can then pick them up with a lasso and craft your chunk loading ward. With great power comes great responsibility. Chunk loading can cause a lot of lag if abused. Only use a chunk loader if the chunks you are loading contain a minimal amount of machines and entities. Okay, I have never used this. Alright, we have golden lassos, I believe. Yeah, I have redstone, I think we have. Oh yeah, I didn't say how to do that. That's resonating redstone crystal, redstone, and an ender pearl. But, okay, you need, there's a contract. All right, let's see, how do you make this contract? You need black dye, water bottle, feather, and paper. 
we don't have any water bottles all right there's a contract and now we have to go find oh we need a lasso okay we need those and it's not going to craft in here did I oh fully all right I went what I should have done is put it in my inventory I went shift click and it put it back into the system and gold nuggets yeah it's not going to create in the crafting grid so you need a vanilla um, crafting station and then it will take the 8 XP from you okay let's put that here now let's go and see if we can find a willing villager they said you right click on the villager right um, uh, and click on the villager okay Oh no, it's night time. They'll all be sleeping. There's nobody, not going to be anybody outside. Let's go and sleep and make it daytime. Um, where's my bed? Bedroom. For a minute I couldn't work out where I was. <laughs> That's sad. Alright. Let's go to the nearest village, which is this way. Can we see anybody up and about? No. They're all, oh, they're all over here. No, they're all over here. Judging by the mini map. Are they all in the water? I can hear them. All right, well, you're stuck there. Oh, you're in the house. Okay. Um, I, what? I villager number, some really extremely long number, also known as Toolsmith, being of sound mind and body, do agree to allow my physical, spiritual and or mental essences to be bound to X physical object and use any skills that I may currently possess to provide a useful service to Shane. I, also, I agree that my essence shall remain bound to the physical object until either the object is destroyed, the universe ends, the very concept of time and or entropy is destroyed or rendered untenable. If I get bored of standing around in limbo, making weird noises and float away to the next life, which is highly, which is unlikely since I like making weird noises. Sign. He signed it. Oh, we got lucky the first time. We got lucky. Okay, well then we didn't have to worry about all of that. I thought we'd have to hunt high and low for a willing villager, but we have one. Where's home? Here's home. Right. Let's not let him out. So what are we making now? Um, chunk loader. Sticks, golden lasso, and eye of redstone. Do we have no more eyes of redstone? I thought I made some. All right, let's make a few more. All right, we can make two. That's fine. Put that there and get our villager. And we have a chunk loader. Oh, he's now... Tr oh, the lasso is empty. That's interesting. And we've made our chunk loader. All right, well then let's put this... Actually, to see where your chunks are, the chunk boundaries, if you press F9 twice... Nope. Oh, is that a mod? I always thought that was a vanilla thing. Yeah, it's definitely not F7, sorry. Okay, I always thought it was F9, but maybe that's a mod that lets you do that. That might be a mod that lets you do that. Okay, 
Well, in that case, let's put our chunk loader here. And then to test it out, claim chunks. Let's move back next to it so we know that we have this chunk on. Right, claim chunks. We are here. This is wilderness. And then if we come back here, yep, now this is ours. All right, so this should be going. Let's try out the angel ring and see if it works. And like I said, I went out by the river before it failed. So let's go in this direction, see if we keep going. Oh, it's working. Was there a ravine down there? Oh, I didn't know that. Yep, it's definitely still working. It's a pity you can't fly any faster. Yep, definitely working. I didn't come out this far. Alright, so... Let me see. Uh, where are we? We did go in a straight line, didn't we? And of course I turned off the home beacon because it was really annoying. And now that I need it... <laughs> It's not there. Okay, there's our village, there's our stuff, we are here. So we have finished Extra Utilities 2, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, I didn't do this, did I? I was going to do this off, off, um, offline and I didn't do it. String, gunpowder and bone wheat and an, yet another sheep pet let's see what else do we have magma nether brick nether red nether brick yet more enchanted books redstone torch and tnt okay nothing of huge interest i mean after you get to a certain point in the game all that stuff really doesn't make much difference when you're starting out it's like yay you got you know got stuff i can use but after a while it's like yeah don't need none of this uh put you and you you magic them speed upgrade we can put up in the thing my bow, I need arrows. Do I have any arrows? If I could get an infinity crafting, that would be awesome. Oh yes, this needs to go upstairs. So take that out and put that in. Okay. So we have finished Extra Utilities 2 and what did, oh, Tinkering Away, I had to finish off that. I went ahead and collected Nether Ore, Cobalt and Ar Ar Ardite in the Nether, you just had to get 16 blocks of each, I did that. Um, and then you get more. Night Slime, I wanted to do that. So I went ahead and I got some purple slime liquid because I had a purple slime island um, bookmarked so I went ahead and got that alright so it says make some night slime by grabbing a couple of buckets worth of purple slime liquid from a floating slime island and put it in a smeltery next melt some iron ore and cobblestone melts into steered sewn liquid and it will slowly mix into night slime Okay, we just want one night slime ingot. Actually, I should have seen how much we need. Uh, casting. Molten night slime. Are you not going to give me the recipe? Alright, ingot. Crafting, casting. Stoked crucible. What's that? Okay. 
One ingot, shift for buckets, that's not what we want to do though. So, but it doesn't tell you like one for one. Oh, there you go, alloying. All right. Uh, two but no, I don't know if that's two buckets. But we need seventy-five miller buckets of molten iron, one twenty-five of purple night slime, and one forty-four of molten of stone. Okay, I have no idea what what um things that I need, the amounts because me and math are not good friends. So yeah, it's probably very obvious. All right, this is the drum that I had the night slime in. Have you, really? Or did I put it, no, I don't think I put it outside. I think I might, oh God, did it lose? Oh no, that's it. Oh, for a minute I thought I'd put it in there and it had lost the night slime. Not the night slime, the purple slime. I was going to say, but I don't know where another purple slime island is. Right, you want that. We want some... Do I have cobblestone in here? No, I think I threw away all my cobblestone. And it wants iron. Oh no, we can use... Let's go. Thank you. Right, wireless charger. Okay, iron. Okay, let's... Right, let's turn this off. Nope. Right. So, we need... Do I have a bucket? I thought I had a bucket on me. Oh, I do. Right, let's put this down. Uh, drum right there. That's, oh, really? Oh, I didn't know you could do that, though. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could pour it into a drum. All right, so let's move the drum from in front of the faucet or just take off the faucet. That might be the better thing to do. Okay, so we've got four buckets of that. Liquid purple slime. If we put in four bars of iron and There's probably, there's probably somewhere else where it gives you the exact recipe, but, you know, we're experimenting here. It's fine. Okay, so we have one ingot of night slime. Okay, so it was, okay. All right, where's the night slime? Because that's all we want. Oh, that would have put it in our system. And here we go. We have our night slime. Let's put you in there. Get a loot chest. And they want a hammer. Tough tool rod. How many? Three. Okay, so... They want an iron large plate, a copper large plate, cobalt hammerhead, and a night slime tough tool rod. Alright, what have we run out of in this? Oh, there's the dog's tail. Okay, I've made everything. Let's put it out of our system. Um, head. There's our cobalt hammerhead. Um, copper. So copper large plate. 
There's the iron large plate and we want a rod. A blaze rod, steel rod, night slime. We want our tool forge. We want to pick the hammer and you can shift click these in. Oh, nice. So, um, let's see. You get a hammer. The durability is 1800. Mining level is cobalt. Mining speed. It's not very fast, but it has a natural. The tool mines faster, the higher its mining level is above the required one. Momentum. The mining blocks increases your speed as long as you keep going. Okay, so you don't really need speed because it has momentum. Magnetic. It will attract all the blocks towards you and well established you get additional XP. Oh, that's a very nice hammer. That is a very nice hammer. And I believe with that we have completed tinkering around. Yes, we have. So we've done quite a few, actually. We have done quite a few. So, roots. Oh, that's the moonlight. So yeah, we, we'll keep away from roots just for a little bit. Although there's not much. Aubergine. Where'd you get aubergines from? You must be able to make them through the thing. Oh yeah, you get aubergine seeds from them. Back. Rustic. We could go for rustic, because that looks simple-ish. And then after that, we can... Oh, farming and cooking. Did we never finish this? Scintilla wheat. Didn't I... Uh... I thought I finished, I thought I got, had some of that. Where is the side door? I'm pretty sure we have some of that out here. Uh, there's hemp seeds for when we go back into immersive engineering. That's ashen wheat. Did I never grow any scintilla wheat? Oh. Well then let's, that's not in range. Nope. All right. We have the seeds, but we never grew the wheat. Okay. Well, I'll plant that um, in, in, in readiness for next time. There you go. Uh, back. Filling food, sweet rewards, honey and white candle. Okay, well next week then, I guess we could look at finishing farming and, farming and cooking. And then, let's go to rustic. I've never used rustic. And then we've got the big three down here. Immersive engineering, which we started. Astral sorcery. And, oh, astral sorcery is huge. And Britannia. So, yeah. Those are the next big ones. And, of course, I've got to do that off, off camera. Okay, well, we're, we're getting through. Peaceful recipes. Oh, it's the shulker shells. Because I had to find a shulker shell. Popped chorus fruits. Um, I guess I'm going to have to go to the end and fly. Now we, ha now we actually have an angel ring. I could fly around and see if I can find an end city. Because that's where you get shulker shells, right? Although, if we're playing in peaceful, will they still show up? Hmm. Well, I'll have to do that. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.